the wheel of time. When uh, we don't have anything to lose, we become courageous. We only become fearless when there is something to cling to. The warrior, the hero, could leave nothing to chance. He actually influences the outcome of events with the power of his awareness and his unwavering purpose. If a warrior wants to repay all the favors that have been done to him, he has no one in particular to turn to, he can address his offer to the spirit of man. The stock that exists there is very small and whatever he deposit is more than enough. After arranging the world in the most beautiful and enlightened, enlightened manner, the intellectual returns to his home at five in the afternoon precisely to forget the beautiful classification he has achieved. The human form is a bundle of energy fields that exist in the universe and which is exclusively related to human beings. Shamans use the term human form to describe them because these energy fields have been bent and distorted by a lifetime of habits and abuse. The warrior and the hero knows that he cannot change, yet he undertakes to strive for this change. The warrior is never disappointed when he falls in his attempt to change. This is the only advantage the warrior has over the common man. Warriors must be blameless in their constant effort to change so as to frighten the human form and shake it off. After years of blameless behavior, there comes a moment when the human form cannot take it anymore and leaves. It's like saying that there will come a time when the energy fields distorted by a life full of habits, will return to their normal state. Of course, in doing so, the hero, the warrior, is deeply affected and may even die in the process of restoring the energy fields, but a blameless warrior always survives. The only freedom warriors have is to behave impeccably. Impeccable behavior is not only freedom, it is also the only way to shake off the human form. Every habit needs all its parts to function. If some parts are missing, then the habit is dis uh, disassembled. The battle is fought here on earth. We are human creatures. Who knows what awaits us or what kind of power we have? The world of men is shaken and men are always shaken together with their world. Warriors have no business getting carried away by the ups and downs of their fellow men. The core of our existence is the process of perception and the magic of our existence is the act of awareness. Perception and awareness constitute a unique functional and inseparable unity. The warrior's path offers man new life, and this life must be truly new. He cannot carry into this life his old coarse ways. Human beings like to be told what to do, but they like even more to react and not do what they are told. However, they are trapped in half because of the one who advises them. Everyone has enough personal power for something. The trick of the warrior, the hero, is to remove his personal power from his inability to accomplish the warrior's purpose. Everyone can see, however, we choose not to remember what we see. This is excerpts from The Second Ring of Power by Carlos Castaneda, and I've translated this from a Greek article. Please leave your comments, and thank you for your support. Kindly support my Patreon account. The daily posts are five videos daily and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box below.